The station uses the power of the tides to produce electricity. It was a dream that finally came true in 1966. It was the first tidal power plant at the time, and it took five years to build. It is located in the English Channel, but it produces electricity for France. There was, however, a purpose for choosing this location. The river mouth is 750 meters wide, and the English Channel is known for its abnormally high tides. The biggest tides can reach 13.5 meters high. This is the place on Earth with the largest and most powerful tides. Already on the 12th century, people built tide mills there. The dam measures 750 meters and functions with the different water levels. There are 42 turbines and 10,000 square meters of water per second which passes through the turbines at high tides. They fill and empty the basin twice a day. In means of electricity, the station produces 540 gigawatts per year, which is equivalent to the consumption of a city of 300,000 inhabitants. This is the only place where a power station like this has existed for 40 years, and the impact on the environment has been minimal. At the time of the building, there were some changes in the environment, but after that we have seen no change in the fish life or the flower life. This power plant is driven by one of the Earth's most powerful forces, and all, if all of the Earth's power came from tidal power plants, the rotation of the Earth would shift. The tidal power plants are very expensive and hard to build, but once they have been built, they only need restoration every 30 years. Tidal power is a renewable energy source and cannot be used up, like for example fossil fuels. Countries like Korea, Canada and Australia are also interested in investing in tidal power plants.